uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you. I'm really very uh, proud to be here and present my, my, the paper, uh, Distangling of uh, Patterns of uh, Geographic Concentration in Tunisian Manufactories, that I written with my colleague, uh, Widad Matusi. And I think uh, uh, I want to, uh, to have a very great to Karen Newman, who helped us to to have a good uh, presentation. Okay, uh, our motivation are uh, from uh, written papers and uh, we started with Paul Krugman who asked that Krugmanation may be more the rule than an exception. And these results have been proved by uh, a study uh, of World Bank reshaping economic geography uh, when uh, you demonstrate that market favors some places about, uh, over others, and places, cities, coastal areas, and connected countries are favored by producers, then the choice of the places, it, it, isn't, uh, uh, it isn't done uh, exogenously, but it is an endogenous decision. And then analyzing the agglomeration and the situation and the effect of the geographic localization is so important. Uh, and in theory, you, uh, you demonstrate that productivity spillovers is so important. Why? Because an increase in, in a fair productivity can have a positive effect, a significant effect on the neighborhood of first productivity, as have demonstrated uh, Mrs. Howard. And, and also, uh, there is uh, in the all the literature you, you are speaking about Mar models, Jacobs models, and Porters. And uh, in this model, we have a great aggregation, have an effect. And this effect helps to reduce cost. And this uh, cost reduction has a leading or lead to efficiency gain of the firms. This is, this is why uh, uh, studying agglomeration, it will be very interesting. And the uh, question is, how can the Tunisian industry concentration be measured? How to measure this aggregation, how to measure this concentration? And uh, to respond to this main question, we have uh, three parts. The first one is whether firms cluster in Tunisia, yes or no. And uh, to analyze this, you use some summary statistics, sample some graphs, also some uh, aggregation indices who help us to test and uh, to confirm this uh, analysis, and then uh, the second part will be why firms clusters. And to respond to the second question, we, uh, we will use uh, uh, two econometrics models. In the first one, we analyze factors driving firms' location choice. And in the second one, you, you analyze factors driving uh, employment increases. Employment increases, it is used in the literature as the uh, measure of the, uh, the firm's magnitude, the firm's growth. And the third question is, what are the benefits of clustering? Why you cluster? And in order to analyze its effect, you, uh, we will analyze also an econometric model uh, measuring the effects of location on productivity growth. Then the the uh, outline of the paper will be responding to the three questions. But at the end, you have two parts. The first one is economic externalities. And when you uh, we return to uh, the first paper in this, you have Anderson and you have Krugman. Anderson uh, analyzed uh, a different phenomena, what is urbanization. And this is why you, uh, you, you try to uh, to uh, give an explanation, is it uh, localization or an urbanization? Uh, and you demonstrate that in uh, less, developed, uh, less developed countries, essentially it is a phenomena of urbanization, not a localization that you find in developed, in developed countries. And then, in an analysis to, to continue, have conclusion and policy decision. You, you, you make a correlation with previous decision uh, ma uh, made in, uh, in Tunisia and the results. That first question, where from cluster? 
Uh, we started with uh, just to map uh, graphs. And in Tunisia, we have uh, some duality between uh, eastern, which is the uh, littoral zones, and western, who it is the anterior zones. At what we remark, to remark that there is a gap, and this gap is going huger and huger and high and high. And the other thing, we have six regions in Tunisia. And what we precise, okay, the uh, east regions, but between the east regions, there is two principal regions, which is the northeast and the centerist, what are the more important than the others. Now, you, uh, we consider the two more important uh, regions, who are the northeast, and what we remark, we remark that we have a huge gap between Tunis capital and the other governorates. There is a, a very uh, huge part. The other things, the trends for the central east, also you have Sfax with, uh, it, well, it is uh, different. Uh, Sous, we you are coming, and the other governorate. Then what, what we say, uh, are there clustering? Yes, there is clustering effect. And in Tunisia, as you look, you have two things. 83% of firms are concentrated in the east regions. And the other thing, there is another phenomenon that what is the dark and, and uh, hard, here it is Tunis and uh, the governorate has Fax, and there were these 40% of firms. And Tunis and Fax are the two huge CBDs in Tunisia. This is why you are asking about urbanization, which is a phenomenon as important in less uh, developed countries. Uh, there is another uh, kind of heterogeneity, it is the sectoral disparities. In Tunisia, you have the more uh, essential firms are in textile, and now there is an, an electric and electronic, who the number is, uh, is uh, going and uh, he uh, increases more and more from year to year. And then, uh, what I have to, uh, to analyze, don't you consider three sectors, the textile, what we consider that textile, it is essentially specified here, which is the monastery. There is one of the thirds of firms are here. Uh, electric and electronics are concentrated in Tunis and in uh, governorate of Sfax. However, when you consider agro-food, uh, agro there is more uh, more diversification and the gap it is lesser. And chemicals also, you have this. And what, what we do, we say that where firms are clustered and what uh, our first conclusion is that exporting sector, essentially electronics, textile and chemicals are concentrated in littoral region that we give them up. And only products associated with local demand, okay, uh, essentially agro-food, are more diversified, and the anterior governorate are limited. Uh, in order to analyze, don't, uh, we use uh, specialized index that, or the metrics. Uh, when we use this, this one, you have a phenomenon that is very specific, that the, uh, what, what we found, we found that some interior zones have a greater specialization index. Why? Because simply this kind of index specialization is not appropriate. There is the problem of, uh, of monopoly and when we have a uh, limited number of, of firms, when you calculate this index, you have a, a wrong signal. Then we use uh, Elizondo Glazier, who essentially correct for the fact that firms consisting of few relatively countries. And uh, when we use uh, the uh, Elizondo Glazier index, you find results that are coherent with uh, our summary results. 
And, uh, and you say that uh, located industries are textile and leathers, and uh, less located are uh, agro-food products. Why farm cluster? Uh, here we use a firm location model where uh, we consider unknown indigenous variables is the, uh, the variation of the, the rate of variation of uh, the number of firms. And you have two kinds of exploratory variables. You have economic variables and you have regional characteristic variables, which is X and W, uh, that you have capital, revenue, uh, exporting share, something like this. Oh, sorry. Uh, what we find in our estimation that specialization index is not significant. However, competition is positive and significant. And you say that the number of firms tend to increase in more competitive areas rather than specialized one. Another result, what is also important associated with uh, uh, aggregation phenomena, that is dummies associated with lateral who are interior, okay, with a uh, fax dummy. And you say that small size firms are mainly concentrated around littoral and uh, littoral zones when we found CBDs. And this is why I ask the question, location choice may rather be considered as urbanization externalities choice. However, what we find that growth on firm create, uh, creation decrease if initial number of firms is important. And government industries with initial high level of employment will have lower, which is contradictory with the other firms. And you say that firms' capital income and employment are not significant, what it is surprising. This is why, because in the first model we don't uh, integrate the economic effect. This is, this is why you use the second model wh where the, on these variables is the employment growth of the firm. And what you find, you find something that initial high level of employment lead to a lower, uh, to lower slow, uh, growth in the industry and employment growth decrease as productivity and skill workers improved. Surprise. And employment growth increase also uh, for countries who are near uh, tools. Okay? And uh, what we find with that, that specialization have a negative effect, a significant one. So just fine. And what is the result different from the uh, MAR model? Competition, however, has a positive effect, and competition also leave, uh, uh, leads to higher government employment growth. What are the benefits of clustering? Here we use uh, a model of uh, productivity growth, Dakar, where we consider uh, the uh, rate of uh, productivity increase. And what we found, we found that high initial productivity in governorate reduced productivity growth, productivity decrease if governorate uh, are exporters, and literal dummies have uh, all time positive effects. Specialization has a positive effect on productivity, which is agree with MAR, or where we can we differentiate the, the endogenous variables. If you use the growth of employment, this, uh, you have the opposite. And uh, governor rate uh, or competition reduce competitivity. However, when, when we consider uh, the two indices, competition and uh, specialization effect, the uh, competition effect become uh, non-significant. And then you consider that there is dynamic of externalities may not be appropriate if we restrict to classical Mar and uh, Porter models. And uh, this is why we uh, try to analyze the phenomena of urbanization. Just uh, two minutes. Uh, why you analyze differentiation for the argumentation of localization? You have localized because we have resources or transport advantages. Uh, you localize also because it helps us to reduce the cost of getting supply and the flow of formation. And uh, localization also can help us to, to have more stable demand. This is what the theory said. 
Uh, if, if we consider urbanization, you, uh, you can say that uh, firms localizing government because of high demand local, uh, of high local demand, and uh, because they can uh, uh, reduce their, uh, their cost. And then in our model, we found that uh, location in Greater Tunis or location in Littoral help to uh, location greater Tunis has to affect on growth of unemployment growth and location uh, littoral uh, improve productivity also. Then you can uh, modify the model and consider the, uh, what uh, Henderson uh, considered as urbanization. Conclusion. Uh, and policy decision, not, not policy recommendation, just uh, you, you say that Tunisian structural adjustment pro, uh, program, which is done in 1984, has increased firm performance, but he uh, has an effect that growing inequality between coastal and region, that it is, uh, as you demonstrate, and uh, the uh, uh, Elisonic Leisure Index uh, depict that uh, uh, textile, electronics, and chemical are more agglomerated, uh, agglomerated sectors that there is agglomeration. Uh, specialization, however, and competition location have different effects uh, if you modify the, the, the model, the, if you modify the specification. Okay? Specification has a uh, non-significant effect on the number of firms, have uh, or, uh, a wrong sign uh, or a wrong effect on employment growth, but uh, is increased productivity. That it is incoherent with MAR model essentially when we use the right model. Competition also has a positive effect on the number of firms. It increases employment, but he, he has a wrong sign for productivity. However, locating in greater Tunis results uh, in firm growth improve and locating in littoral uh, government enhance productivity also. Uh, why? Uh, just, uh, this is the, the last slide, yeah, okay. Uh, historically, CBDs offered better economic incentives, d'accord, for small firms. But there is lack of courage from the Tunisian government. You have no strong political action that have taken to develop new CBDs, never. And this is why you, you have the problem of urbanization because there isn't courage uh, policy. And this is why exporting industries are located uh, new older CBDs and no exporting industries are less located by prefer uh, Eastern regions. Thank you very much.